Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, my YouTube channel. I'm back to add an addition to our busting myths section. And this one's about how bankruptcy is going to ruin my life for 10 years or screw up my credit and I can't get anything done. And actually, nothing could be further from the truth. So just let me elaborate a little bit. I talk to people every day, usually eight or more, sometimes as many as 20 calls a day, where I offer these free consults and I'm talking to people, I'm walking them through the different things that they can do to deal with their problem debt. And I bring up bankruptcy as a mathematical, okay, here's what mathematically bankruptcy is gonna do for you. And it usually kicks everybody else's ass. And what I mean by that is you got nonprofit credit counseling that pay your debt off in full over five years at reduced interest rates. You've got debt settlement that's going to reduce your overall balances by usually half or more than half, right? But that's still pretty sizable, 30 grand worth of debt, Knocked down to half is 15 grand. Guess what? Chapter seven bankruptcy, the national average cost is $1,800. Nobody looks at it because they're afraid that it's going to impact them and or impede them from reaching all of these other financial goals because it's on your credit for 10 years. That part's true. Chapter seven, different than chapter 13, chapter seven stays on your credit for 10 years. Chapter 13 only stays on your credit for seven years. But it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to do all the things that you wanna do. So let's stack this up. If you file Chapter 7 bankruptcy, it goes on your credit, you get rid of that $30,000 worth of whatever your debt, all the debt that is always unsecured debt, right? Not your mortgage debt, or usually it's like, you know, personal loans, credit cards, medical debts, things like that. And you get rid of all of that debt for under 2K for this, in this example. Now, how much time is gonna go by before you can actually start accomplishing credit goals and raising your credit score? Because yeah, you bet, it hurts your credit score, okay? But usually, you can start to receive pre-approved credit card offers from the likes of Capital One and some others like a month or two after your bankruptcy. I'm not kidding. Now listen, the cards, the card limits, you know, the credit limits, they're not great, right? Maybe 1,200, 1,500 bucks. And the interest rates are certainly not great. They're like over 20%, but that's not my point. This whole garbage about this myth about bankruptcy is gonna screw my credit for 10 years is false, right? Because we already beat it. Just with this one example, future credit cards, because they're available within a month or three or something like that, very little time. Now, what are some of the other goals that we have for credit and, and financing as adults? Well, we wanna buy a car. Guess what? You can buy a car a week after bankruptcy. Okay, maybe a month or something like that. Listen, the interest rate isn't good. It's actually pretty bad. And so I would try to avoid that. The reason I would avoid it, I mean, look, sometimes you need to get to and from work, I get it, and the interest rate you're paying right after bankruptcy for a car might be 9, 10, 11, 13%. That's ridiculous. All you have to do though is wait a year, right? Nine months, 12 months, 16 months after your chapter seven bankruptcy, and you'll get pretty competitive auto financing, maybe as low as four, five, 6%. That's not bad, and that's not 10 years either. Here's another way you can bust that myth. Uh, what about homes? Oh, well, I really was hoping to buy a home in the next five years. Guess what? You can, right? Because after a chapter seven, it's true. Nobody wants to loan you money for a home. FHA is usually about two years. Before, okay, I filed my bankruptcy in July of 2021. In August of 2023, I can qualify for all the other reasons, but the bankruptcy, you know, that's not in my way anymore after two years if I'm applying for FHA underwriting for my home loan, if I qualify and all the other ways. So that's not terrible. Actually, the FHA might approve you even sooner if they're under special circumstances, but broadly speaking, two years, right? And then all the other banks, most of the other conventional lenders, even other government lenders, VA, things like that, USDA, they wanna wait, have you wait until three years after you have filed your chapter seven bankruptcy. So this whole myth about, oh my God, I can't file chapter seven bankruptcy because otherwise I'm screwed and credit wise, not gonna reach any goals, absolutely busted, false. Okay, so back to what I started with. I talk to people on a daily basis and I'm usually, and it's free, don't, you don't pay me for anything. On the 800 number you see on the screen, I'm option two, you wanna click that and get a hold of me. We can schedule a time to talk to through our website, which is linked below. And I'm gonna walk you through just a very basic math example of what's gonna work for you to get out of or deal with your debt and with specificity or a very particular view of what's gonna to happen to your credit. How are you gonna accomplish your credit goals? You do have to qualify for chapter seven, so sometimes you have to back away from that option and take other paths. And I'll talk to you about that on the phone. See you on the next video.